Dynamic content makes it easy to include podcast sponsorships, live event announcements, or any other time-sensitive content in your episodes. And it's powerful because you can update multiple episodes at the same time, no editing required. So to get started, click episodes, then dynamic content. Click upload audio and select the file you want to insert into your podcast episodes. Now we'll give this file a title, and this is just a name so you can identify it in your library. It is not going to show up in your podcast. The description, however, is added to the show notes for every episode that gets this audio, which makes it perfect for uh, links or promo codes. But you can leave it blank if you don't want to have text in the show notes. And when you're done, click Create Dynamic Content. Once the file is finished processing, you're ready to add it to your episodes. Now I have four audio files that I'm ready to insert into my episodes. And this one is an announcement for an upcoming giveaway. And I'm going to apply it as a pre-roll because I want listeners to hear about it before the episode starts. Next, I'll apply my listener survey as a post-roll so it's added at the very end of the episode because I don't want them to hear about this until after they've listened to the podcast. And finally, I have two ad reads I'd like to include in the middle of my episodes. One is for a sponsor and the other is for my Buzzsprout subscription. I want them as mid-rolls since that's when listeners are most engaged. And Buzzsprout Smart Insertion Point Finder will automatically find the natural breaks in the episodes, which saves me a ton of time from finding these spots myself. And we're done. These have been added to all of my episodes without any editing, and they'll be included in future episodes automatically. But if you ever want to remove some content, so let's say my giveaway ended, all you have to do is click the X to remove that announcement. Now that we've mastered the basics of dynamic content, I have a few more customizations I want to show you. The first is episode selection. By default, dynamic content is applied to all of your episodes, but maybe you don't want dynamic content to be included in specific ones, like a podcast trailer or an episode where ads wouldn't be appropriate. Click here to pick which episodes get dynamic content and which don't. Just note that any new episodes will get dynamic content by default. The second is mid-roll transitions. When you insert mid-roll content, Buzzsprout will include a transition to let your audience know you're taking a break. This is the default transition, but you can pick a different one or upload your own voice. The next thing I wanna cover will be super useful for sponsor ad reads. So let's say I sold an ad to a subscription box company, but I only agreed to play the ad 5,000 times. With dynamic content, I can see how many times this ad has been played across my entire catalog, and I can remove it once I've hit our agreed amount. Finally, I'll show you how to edit or delete files from your dynamic content library. Click the three dots and click edit to make changes to your title or description, or click delete to, well, delete it. And that's it. We've covered everything you need to know about managing dynamic content in Buzzsprout. If you have any questions, leave us a comment or reach out to support at buzzsprout.com so we can help. Thanks for watching and keep podcasting.